Look at that compared. Is that a bit late? Compared to the little girl. That's your daughter right there? <laughs> yeah, she's my daughter. Man. <laughs> We it's, told you guys, there are five to six foot lizards out here in Florida. Yeah. It's not a joke. Look at the yeah, size. Yeah, the this size. is like six foot. That's about six foot, guys. That's about six foot, yeah. How tall are you? Special shout outs to FX Air Guns and Paramount Air. <sighs> oh my God. <laughs> Hyper orange. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. The finesse. The finesse. <laughs> my goodness. Oh my gosh. Definitely. Six foot. Guys, we got a report of a giant crimson iguana in the area, y'all. Like massive size. We're talking about probably a six or seven footer. We're gonna go see if we can catch him, guys. Have to hurry up because kids are out of school. Look at all these kids right here. Yeah, we gotta hurry up. All right, come on. Let's go, guys. This could be. Good. We got we got a female over there too. This is great. Yeah, this is a big one right here. Oh my gosh. There it is, a giant seven foot iguana death roll. Oh. Size of that crimson iguana. We got oh. a measuring tape? We, not, we might need to measure this specimen right here. He is huge. He is large and in charge. Big giant six foot crimson iguana. Now he's out with a female. Man, this one is the size of a baby alligator. Guys, we're hunting for a seven foot iguana, not a six footer. We already caught those before. We're hunting for the seven foot beast. We're gonna go ahead and bag this guy real quick. Uh, at the end of the video, we'll be able to get uh, the accurate length. Probably been scuffing with other alphas in the area, but he is absolutely massive. We're gonna go ahead, put him in the bag. All right, the good news is the female's still there. Yesterday was a really great day. It like it was more humid. I was sweating a lot more. A lot, it's a lot cooler today. It's a lot drier. So the iguanas they want to come out here next to this pond with this fountain. It's more humid around in this area though, because the water being dispersed in the air, the atmosphere. It's dark, kind of like the roots of the trees. heavy, I'll tell you that. There she goes right there. Missing her tail, a piece of her tail. Like she got into some type of altercation, whether it's uh, territorial or romantically, or maybe predatorily. The mud, the dirt, the trees, the bark, the roots. Earth. This is earth tone right here. Color. It's incredible, dude. She can go from this to being bright green to even being orange. All right, look real quick right there. See the earth tone. Yeah. Wow. All right, we're at the other section right now. This place is crazy. Got a report of a giant, giant lizard out here somewhere. I think he might be about four or five foot. How's it going, man? Where'd he go? Oh my gosh, he's right here.
And he is feisty. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh shoot! Whoa! Hold on, we gotta, we gotta get him. We gotta get him. We gotta get him before he breaks us off. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh, shoot! Oh, oh, oh. All right, all right. Oh, 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 oh. All right, there he goes, right there. Got the back legs control. He's trying so hard to turn on me. Back legs control all of his power. Now he's immobilized. Hey, did you see this thing over here? Somebody told me there was like a five foot lizard walking around by the dumpster. There he is right here, man. All right. We're just gonna we're just gonna say this is him, just by the size and uh, the location. Oh shoot! Whoa. He's gonna. He will try to turn on you too. And his, we're gonna have to bring this guy over here for some further questioning. Yeah, look at that right there. Look at the the habitat he's living in. Looks like a hurricane hit over here. There's debris everywhere. And these guys, they will actually scavenge through some of this garbage and eat whatever scraps they can get, whatever protein or, or carbs that they can get into their diet. They're that opportunistic. And sometimes with more protein, results in more strength and more size, more muscle. But he can, these things can get big and muscular just off grass. So it's pretty wild. I'm gonna go ahead and have to put this guy in the bag. Yeah. We heard, we heard there's a big one by the dumpster. <laughs> awesome, awesome. As you guys can see, the clients love us out here. When we come out, we pop out. We're gonna go ahead and put these guys in the bag. We're at our church job right here, check it out. Believe it or not, guys, this is actually where I went to uh, day school at when I was a kid. And, um, I remember back in the day, we saw a lot of turtles out here, a lot of other uh, animals, uh, rabbits, turtles, but we had never seen iguanas. Now that I'm older, telling me that there's a lot more iguanas out here, and I see a giant right there by that tree. I'm gonna go see if I can bag him. All right. All right, guys, we got him on. Dang, yo, that pole right there saved me. Just trying to back up out of it. You can't back out of this one, guy. Caught you red-handed. Yeah. Wow. I know, bro. That's pretty big, yeah. Another big male. And then a lot of females are gonna come up from underneath the ground try to warm up, eat more, and develop those eggs. So we got this guy right here. We're gonna go ahead, put him in the bag. A lot more iguanas are coming out because a lot of people are starting to cut trees. And once they do that, it's like the animals around the area get curious. So for example, they, they look right here, they just trimmed all those uh, limbs off these trees. And that's why we've been getting a lot more reports of a lot more curious iguanas. Also, they grind down the trees and they make mulch out of it. And also iguanas like to investigate that because as you guys know, that is a perfect substrate for uh, animals to live eggs, especially reptiles and iguanas. Whoa. You know? But anyways, we're gonna go off road real quick. We're gonna go check out the mulch area, see if there's any digging activity. So uh, we're gonna go ahead, bag these guys, and stay tuned. Let's go see what we can find. bunch of them out here man we've been out here weeding these things out the last couple weeks and it seems like every other time we come there's just 
more iguanas where we took the other ones out. Brothers are asking where the rifle's at. We're getting service. And we need to get bounties. So we don't want none escaping in the water. I don't feel like going swimming today. How, do, how about you? No. Nah, that water seems too cold. I had one way to pick how to get iguanas. I have to use the catch ball. All day, every day. Iguanas in the bag. All right, you guys, we are back and we just wanted to show you guys the biggest specimen uh, caught on today's show before we go ahead and harvest them. This right here is massive. Look at this. Look at that compared compared to the little girl. That's your daughter right there? Yeah, she's my daughter. Man, we told you guys there are five to six foot lizards out here in Florida. Yeah. It's not a joke. Look at the size. Yeah. This is like six foot. That's about six foot, guys. That's about six foot. Yeah. We're just doing this for scientific and educational purposes, guys. All right. You at the front? Yeah, yeah I got that yeah. Is at the front. All right, hold on one second. Yep, keep going, keep going. Right there, boom. He is five, one, two, three. He is five, eight. Five, eight. Wow. Guys, so we got right here a five foot, eight inch iguana. The thing is massive. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, harvest these things, guys. They're really good to eat and we're getting them out the ecosystem. Um, but stay tuned, guys, because the hunt for a six or seven foot iguana still continues we know out there that you know with unlimited resources food habitat water anything is possible guys there can be a freak of nature iguana out there a giant uh, just a, an amazing specimen that has not yet been discovered so if you guys want to see that like comment hit the red subscribe button it's your friend roger the iguana man see you guys on the next video